Yeah, my name is Thibaut van der Velde, and I'm from Liège originally, uh, not from Brussels, but I studied in Brussels. I studied um, international relations and uh, com uh, multilingual communication at ULB, and uh, I graduated this year, um, so six years after my uh, exchange student my exchange student program in America. Well, I spoke with friends of mine uh, of just traveling. I didn't really know what to do at first. So we started to look uh, for options and uh, that's where I found the web at a fair uh, in town. And then they were, you know, like uh, promoting their programs and they have a s such a variety of uh, programs that I, well, I was kind of amazed by the, the variety. So of course there were uh, programs, exchange programs for high school then there were volunteering programs and uh, also working programs. Uh, so we could go work uh, abroad like in Australia or uh, in New Zealand, also in the United States, but o only during the summer, um, and also in Canada. Uh, then there was the, uh, the exchange mm, programs like I did uh, high school in high school. So that's all over the world. Um, and the volunteering is, yeah, well, mainly where uh, it's most needed, of course, in Africa, uh, Asia, or uh, what was the last part? Oh, well, South America. I thought that, well, being in a family would bring me much more uh, cultural experience, and then I would, I would like get out mm, richer, like way richer than just. Um, meeting uh, international people. So I really wanted to get that real insight of America and the real, um, the real traditions of America. And um, actually I really got it because um, I ended up in uh, New Mexico where uh, actually the highlight of, of this experience was really uh, the multicultural and multi-ethnic experience with, um, well, with Mormons, with Indian Americans, the Navajo. Um, and with uh, cowboys, actually. My f I had a family of cowboys. So it was really fun, and uh, I really did get that, and uh, I really broke the cliches um, that I thought were real, but some of them were, some of them weren't. Well, uh, you just apply, okay, on the website uh, for web. And then, um, well, you wait, and then you get invited for an interview. Uh, you, pa you do the interview, if you pass, then they send you the information file. Uh, it's kind of a psychological uh, interview, more on your personal life and uh, behavior, um, and uh, capacity to adapt to a new culture, too. And then, uh, well, after you just fill in the information file, it's, it's a long, it's many, many papers. But anyway, and um, you just fill that in and then you wait. Actually, you don't do anything. You really like try to sell yourself, I'd say, like to try to put the, your, uh, the good details about you that you, I mean, you, well, personally, I love my family, my friends. I love to hang out with my friends. I love to uh, practice sports. I love to uh, learn new things, discover new things. So, you, you know, you write all these um, all this information in the in the file, and then the the host family chooses you, uh, thanks to that, to your profile, and then you wait until a family chooses you, and then I waited. Well, the process started in January, and eight months later I was uh, going. In, in August I was going to New Mexico. Actually, at first I already knew that languages were my. Uh, were my thing, uh, but um, it really confirmed it. Um, but it oriented oriented it uh, to another uh, another area, like the multicultural area that I didn't know. You know, I I, I knew I loved languages, but I didn't know I loved um, meeting new cultures and uh, knowing all the things there is to know. Um, so yeah, that oriented my studies towards the international. Uh, area. Well, that they should, that they shouldn't uh, uh, think more about it, that it's just the thing to do because, and to America or to anywhere, 
uh, just to discover a new new land, a new people, a new culture. That's really important because having only the Belgian experience is not enough, I think. And I, well, now I need more, all the time more. And then next year I'm going to Spain uh, to study in Spain. Ne and two years from now I'm going to study uh, and uh, work in Australia. So it, it really uh, opened my mind. And um, my last advice would be to when they, they are there, would be to participate in everything they can, just to grab everything there is to grab.